What is up, everybody? This is Game Master Craig here with the Star Wars stream team. Welcome to another exciting episode of Star Wars Clash of Destiny. How are we doing today, team? So good. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. Now, last week was really intense. Yeah. We had a really tight battle. Yeah. It wasn't looking good for some of us, including the guy running the monsters. A lot of stress <laughs> happening. A lot of stress on that board. But... I'm very excited because today is the first day we're going to be using the Destiny system. Now, for those of you watching, the Destiny system was created by Fantasy Flight Games for that Star Wars RPG. We are bringing it over here to our game. So right now, I'm going to ask everybody on the team to go ahead and roll a D6, and I will continue explaining the rules. All right. I'll, I'll roll my D6. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay, very interesting. Nice we got a go. four, a two, a one. And a two! And a Let's two! Go. Let's go! Now, right, what do those good. numbers mean? Very so, much. every very time... Much. Green. Every time they roll an even number, it means that the crew gets a light side point. And every time they roll an odd number, it means they get... Well, I get a dark side point. At any point in time, or as long as it's their turn, they can cash in their light side point to get plus 10 on whatever roll they're trying to accomplish. Doesn't count for damage, but if they're trying to roll an investigation, a perception, boom, light side point, get a plus 10. For me, on the other hand, so rune is one here, counts for a dark side point, which means at any point in time, I can hit the a dark Runa. side point. Uh, yeah, yeah, good job, Runa. But I could cash in a dark side point and I get a plus 10 on whatever threshold they're rolling against. So that is what we're starting with right now. Team, y'all have three light side points to play with. And I have one dark side. That's a pretty good start. I would, I would like to use all start. three light side points to search for a lightsaber for my character. No. <laughs> you can only use one at a time. And I we're going to have to add rules three. to that. Yeah, as, so if I get like as, a 30, that means I have to find it, right? That's the way it works, right? Like no. if I get like a 40, like you have to give me a lightsaber, right? As Maybe. resident Papa, I say no. <laughs> I mean, just know that that dark side point will probably go to the rest of the team in their attempt to murder Tuska. Yes, probably, yeah. and it will succeed. <laughs> a, an ominous, it, so an, an ominous voice comes out of the sky and just says, "No." <laughs> <laughs> God, <laughs> the voice has spoken. So Are you again. Quick recap to where we left off. We're going to get this thing going because we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do tonight. <laughs> All right. Last time, our mission was to go and capture Groro. Your mission was to also find evidence, find footage of this guy's misdeeds going against Timo the Hutt. As you guys are attempting to frame him once you capture him, you're bringing him in alive. You end up going in guns blazing, fighting, and uh, the fight doesn't really go too well. Kato takes a few hits. Tetsuka takes a few hits. Everybody kind of didn't walk away un a little uh, unscathed. But Dinos' team of misfits end up showing up and rescue you and save the day. They so didn't we are do picking nothing. Up... I saved me. That's not a lie. But they did show <laughs> up and, and knock the guy out, and the combat ended there. Uh, so we are picking up right where that ended where uh we have our bob and spy is has just said to to jen that someone xyz person is alive and the rest of the team you're all standing there still injured from this fight mm -hmm. so i will pass it now over to you guys with what do you want to do the the guy is standing there tied up still bound we on the, the floor is yours or are we you're still no. in the base. Oh, uh, okay. Because my game's paused, that's why. Um, yeah, no, we're, we're just looking at space on the map right now. Oh, okay, no. Yeah, my... Well, Runa is not really too interested in what's being said since she's only at, you know, like health. Half, half health. <laughs> so. uh, I'm going to drag him and throw him into the speeder that they came in on. I will help Tetsuka do that so that he's not being dragged. <laughs> We're treating him like a human. <laughs> no, Craig, uh, I can't hear you. You're muted. Oh, God, no. You I'm guys go ahead and give me a strength check okay. to, to toss him in. Um, I will I say wish that. I wish I could. 
The oh. game is paused, my love. Uh, um, you get Game Master Craig. Game Master, You're, it's auto correct. The force is with you. You can now roll. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> my character's not here, sir. Characters aren't here. Oh. My hop, my little screen's not here. not here. You, you guys will be moved to the ship temporarily. <laughs> Yay! Welcome back on your ship Hello. for these rolls. Okay, I will. Uh, Do you want a strength check? And just for these rolls. Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, oh my that's 20 on my first hey. roll! Let's that's go! Epping of that energy. Last you want to catch in the destiny point and make it a <laughs> I'm just gonna hoist this okay. mofo on my shoulder and just. I would like to use a light side point. To... No, I'm kidding. I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you pick him up and toss him into the. You know, yeah. Tetsuka tries to help, but he's like, you know, like barely helping. Um, yeah, Kato, you you pick this guy up and toss him right into the uh, speeder that the goon squad's got. I like to think that I hoist him up on the shoulder and I've got him kind of like in a fireman's carry. Am I dangling Te while he's Tetsuka's dangling, dangling from the legs <laughs> in the back? <laughs> like so, oh my God, chucks him in, I go with him. <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out why this feels heavier than it is. I'm just like, why? Well, what? <laughs> you got the, a Wookiee attached to it. At this point, the you know, watching you guys do this, the three goons go over and they, they get back into the speeder and gesture to you. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We got to go. We got to go. Quick. I would uh, like to thank the little guy first before he, I'd be like, hey, buddy, I'm going to pop out. Can I stealth check to surprise him? Sure. Does it matter? Does it, it, it doesn't matter. To me. Go ahead and roll for the stealth check. And at this point, the Bobbin's going to look at Jen and he's kind of looking around and he just looks at you and says, we will talk, but we can't talk here. It's too, there's too many people. Yes, I uh, just come with us. We'll take care of you. Okay. You trust these people? I do. Most of them. Are, they are terrible at fighting. I understand that. Thank quite you. quite bad, actually. I, I, I did pick up on that. Thank you. It's embarrassing, but okay. Whatever you say. All right. We can hear you. Okay. Well, you're, you got, at this point, you're still putzing with the other guy. Oh. <laughs> at most, Rata Runa asks, might be able to is, hear him. Is Runa, is Runa near enough to hear this? Runa can hear what I just said, yeah. There's like um, no need to rub it in, okay? Like, it hurts. <laughs> we suffered for it, thanks. <laughs> and then she just turns around and kind of walks off. <laughs> Rubbing her shoulder. <laughs> like, uh. So do blaster wounds, and he walks away as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's what she's referring to, is like, we're suffering for it. Oh, like, no. it hurts. <laughs> like, <laughs> Physical pain, like we we've we've been reminded. Karma we are... already got its kiss for us. I thought you meant words hurt. No, 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 <laughs> no. Runa doesn't like, care about words. No. Bob, it's hurting my stone. feelings. <laughs> no, no. She's like she's like actively like touching her blaster wounds because she is injured. And she's too. basically like the the blasters did the speaking for us. Like you don't have to rub it in like ouch we get the point <laughs> so tetsuka rolls a seven to stealth check the to stealth check squee the little guy um can you tell me what you do uh so i was uh, uh uh trying to wiggle my way up from behind the seat to like hop out and surprise him but uh so you definitely hopped out and he's like what are you what are you doing I just wanted to say thanks, buddy. And I want to put a sh hand on his shoulder and say, you know, in my dying moments, I saw you. I saw you, Phil. I, I pat him on his shoulder and I walk away. Well, I get back in the seat and I, I buckle myself in. He, he oh, okay. And he, and he leans over and whispers and, and you can hear him whisper. He leans over and whispers to the big guy. He's like, these guys are very strange. I'm not gonna argue with that. That's fair enough. The big can one I, just shakes it off. Can I sleight of hand check to reach over and smack Tetska in the back of the head and then look another direction as if I didn't do it? <laughs> Go ahead, give me a sleight of hand check. Yay! <laughs> That's an 18 sleight of hand 
to. I don't need a rope where... for it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Where <laughs> were these rolls during the combat last I session? Know, I know. <laughs> Did you not see that? Did you not see that? <laughs> we have just gone through another update here on the Foundry uh, system. Thanks, guys. Back to you, Tetsuka. <laughs> you just got slapped up in the back of the head. Uh, I'm going to uh, assume uh, it must have been something like the wind or uh, the force. The force? The force. The Schwartz. So, <laughs> no, uh, I'm just... the, the big guy is going to once again look over and now he's going to get a little aggravated and he says to, to the girls and, and to the boss and, are you ready to go now? Can we go now? I'm, I'm yeah, on my let's way. Because I, I was oh. actively walking up there. All right. To get to the, to the speeder. So you guys all get in the speeder. Sure. Okay. Yes. He oh, I would like to turn on the radio. As he takes off and pulls away, you reach from behind and go and you, you turn on the radio. And it's, it's really loud at first and nobody likes it. And you just leave it on. I exactly. I, I would like to put it to like the equivalent of like uh like uh like hit pop records of the of the modern day. Like some good pop songs. Like Lady Shmashma, yeah. the the Bothan. Uh you you turn it on, but like you set it to 17 just so that it's on an odd number to upset everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. The worst. So uh, the guy takes off and he and he veers around and he goes back the way you guys remember coming, uh, ducking, weaving in and out around traffic, Narshadar, speeder traffic. It's very busy this time of whatever time it is, probably night. It's always dark here. Uh, and eventually you arrive at the speeder hangar that you recognize as before as Dinos's. They get off first. They grab Groro and one the big guy puts him up on his on his arm and just walks him through. And so I am gonna jump us over to the other base now. Activate for you guys. Oh, so now everybody should be there. If not, you'll be loading in now. You guys are still all injured from before, still suffering from all those damages. Can I? I'm unscathed somehow. Can I? Use yeah, you're some, uninjured actually. Can I use four seal on myself? In front of all of us? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> all in a room. And we'll all see it. Give me a lore check real quick. Okay. Am I smart enough to know how this works? I am not. You, but you get a funny feeling like, could you do it? Sure. But is this the right place? That's what you would have thought. Hmm. She was already thinking it anyway. I'm just wondering if. Yeah. So, so you guys are all here. Everybody can see this little stairway, yes? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I tried a second ago and then it like. Refresh on me mysteriously, but I can I, I see it in my mind. Uh, try and refresh it to to get back in. But in the mean at the at the meantime, um, the big guy's gonna walk in with uh, ho holding Groro. Dinos is standing there behind the center, uh, uh, the center module, the center computer where they have the big the hollow map. And he looks over and he goes, what took you guys so long? I want to punch Dinos was... in the face. You're really far away from him at this point. You're, you're, you're like just within the entrance. Let's not. Okay, well, at the prime moment, I'm going to punch him in the face. <laughs> did we or did we not get it done? Get, get it done. You took forever. Did I we can't, advertise I'm... ourselves as professionals? There's a bounty on your head. You have a job to do. You get, get to get rid of the bounty. Otherwise, you just die. Okay. Yeah, so and you did it. You did it. You did it poorly. Oh my gosh. And you but did not tell us that we would be walking into an ambush. It wasn't an ambush. We got well, you in, in the back door. Ambush. Really? Because by the time that we got out, you didn't tell us that we only could go out through another door. 
I told you that we were going to pick you up. You never even sent the signal that my guys had to go in because it was taking so long. Once we heard all the blaster fire, all the noise. That okay, that's that's a fair that's a fair assessment of the situation. It's accurate, it's honest, but but let me ask you this, Dinos. Are you having a good day? You know, I, I was having a great day. I was having a great That's day. That's all I want to hear. See, I we're was. All Why did great. you need to ask him that? Until you guys botched the job. We didn't botch it. We got the information. We got the guy. We got out. That was he's the here, isn't he? Process. He's here, and he's alive. Yeah. Surprisingly, I smacked his head hard into the wall, but he's alive. Might might have brain damage, but he's alive. At this point, are you, are you done scolding us, or are we going to get on? Look, we have got, we've got a lot of work to do here now, okay? Mm -hmm. Cleaning up your mess, trying to make sure nobody thinks we had anything to do with this, okay? Yeah. In the meantime, mm -hmm. he, and he, he points to the big guy and says, Bortle, go put him in the conference room. Okay. Yeah. The rest of you. I'm hungry. Go get out of my sight. We'll have more news for you in a little bit. Will there be snacks and beverages? Sir? There's the there's the room in the back. There's a room in the back. Quinn, quit, quit. Show show him where the show him where the room is. And he goes back to doing what he's doing. I just have a rumbly in my tumbly. That's all. I'm just trying to take some food. I'm just trying to spit some food. Grease. Who's spitting oh. his? Hey, Tetsuka. Tetsuka. Yes, Captain. Listen. Listen, lean in, really close, really close. Shut up. I wink at you as though you're, it's a hint. And I, I nod at you and I go, I got it, I got it. I got uh, you. this other guy standing here, uh, with the, with the goggles on looks, looks at Tetsuka and says, what are you holding? What's that on your back? Are you talking about the droid or are you talking about the droid, the auto turret on my back? Which, oh, what? Please. The auto turret. Probably the auto you, turret. You've got a turret on your back. Yes, and I did bring the other droid with me. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. so I have you ever read uh, the 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 Twi'lek book, uh, Frankenstein? So imagine I'm sorry, that, the what? but instead of people parts, droid parts. It's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna make this giant droid thing with like an eye. I was thinking like an auto turret, right? For like a head. And then I was going to use this droid for something. I don't know what. And then probably going to have to destroy a few more droids to get the other parts. And then going to make this thing that I could I could ride on. Give me a deception check. That's honest, though. I'm I'm being honest. But Frankenstein immediately makes it a deception check. <laughs> well, I mean, I hope he doesn't come to life and kill me, but it's possible. Yeah. Frankensteinian thing. Yeah, I didn't get any of that. But if you're looking to work on those, mm -hmm. check back. There's the the workbench is back here. <gasps> we might have some tools. Oh, I hug him. I give him a big hug. And I say, you big, beautiful man. And I, I take my stuff and I waddle over. And as soon I as he leaves, back. I just look at the man with the goggles and say, I'm like really sorry about him. I didn't think I was that beautiful. I don't know. I don't know who he is. I just, I, I don't know what's going on in his head. Too much and not enough. He's, uh, he's special. It happens. Uh, at this point, um, Jen and Runa, you guys, uh, give me a perception check. Can you do that for me? I, I, I can everything. do that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no. You both rolled again. very, very low. <laughs> again. Yet again with the perception check. Yes. Wow. Um, the uh, Bobbin enters the room finally. He kind of held back for a second and he just pops in and he, go he goes, stands next to Runa and says, what are, what are we doing here? We are finishing our job that we are doing against our will, kind of. Um, and you are free, so 
yeah, that's that's what we're doing here. Got a problem with that? Would you would you like to go back to like the cell thing that they had you in? You know, gunpoint and all that. I mean, we could no. we could oblige. We could go dump you off there. No, I don't want to go back there. I have a message I need to send. Okay. I have sure. a place Pretty I need sh- to go to, and okay. I'd like to know uh, if you'll be allowing me to leave now. I said you um, weren't a prisoner. Like, no. Yeah, you're, you're not a prisoner. You can... can we... Yeah, Jen. See... I... In private? Some... I don't see why not. You brought me here, and whatever you want to know, I'm sure we can talk. Um, is there, who else is in this room with us? So right now you're, you're in the over, the over room. There's everybody else is here, but you guys are talking kind of quietly, uh, close to the entrance of the place. The RO droid is also kind of standing by you. The guy with the goggles goes in and, and he's kind he's in the same room as, as Tetsuka. Okay. I'm going to, let's go into, to a corner of some kind. So there are other rooms here that you guys didn't look at before. Yeah, I'm just gonna open a door. Okay. See what's in it, mess around. Okay, cool. Yeah, Looks so cool. you open that door and that's a bathroom. Cool, bathroom sounds good. <laughs> he, uh, he follows you to the bathroom. At which point, uh, the, the woman on the computer is going to turn to Runa and Kato and say, um, did you guys uh, get that footage or that that information that, that Dinos wanted? Yeah, we got it. We told him. Not that it, you know, made much of a difference to him, apparently. Um, who has that again? It's in the droid. Okay. All right. I w- yes, we have your information. I will go get it really quickly. She, she looks at you guys and says, um, could you, could you hook it up to the hollow terminal here and play it? Can I make a perception check to see what she's getting at? Insight. Yeah, Insight. same. Insight Go for check. It. Yeah, because that, that strikes oh, me as a well, little... Well, she's just having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> With a five, she's having a great hey. day. Hey! Oh! Insight. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, not perception Runa. apparently. Runa, you, uh, as as she's saying this, you just get this funny feeling like there's something up about her. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I could trust her. Mm-hmm. Very odd. She wants to see the information. How many S's are in her sus? Like if she's being sus, like sussy. It's just sus. Like, like, like super sussy. Super sus. It's like, like six three S's. S's. Okay. It's three like S's? three. Three S's. It's sus, but like not, not uber sus. Not life or death. Uh, are you guys gonna hook RO up to the? Uh, no, I'm I'm stopping that right now. Um, actually, so, Kato, we we can't do that. We're uh, no. Why? She just wants mission. to see the information. Yeah, it's it's not. I'm standing ours. right here, and it's, yeah, it's... I have to see the information. Um, I, well, we I can talk to, to Dino about it. We can run it by Dino, Dino real quick. I'm his number two. I have to see what's on there. That's fine. I'd rather hear from the number one. Ooh. Fine. And she just turns around and goes back to working on her computer. Sassy At which point, Captain. we are going to make a quick jump over to Tetsuka. You are in the, the workroom. Mm-hmm. There's a workbench here. This is the same room you guys were in before. It was uh, a messy before, but now there's a whole bunch of tools out. Excellent. And, um, I rolled an 18 on my tech check, by the way, to start working on it to see what I could possibly, what monstrosity I could conjure. Okay, so the the little uh, um, I what's the droid called? Oh gosh, I feel like a dummy. Cad Bane's droid, Astro yeah. Tech something. What's it called? I'm gonna Astro. call it. Oh God, I know what it's you're like talking a separatist about. droid. Anyway, yes. the separatist droid. I feel like a moron. I can't remember the uh, 
the Astro Tech droid with an 18, you see, yeah, this thing is super damaged. It looks like. Um, oh, no. It's going to take a little bit. Of, it's going to take a lot of parts to get this thing working again. You crushed mm -hmm. it. All I can think yes, of fair enough. I did crush it. Um, but the gun turret, I mean, you guys cleanly ditch, detached it from the ceiling. In theory, you may be able to attach it to your RO unit. Ooh. Excellent. Okay. Uh, can I call RO in here, please? Can I sh lean out the door and go, Ro, my darling? Yeah, Ro enters into the room. Looking beautiful. Is she dusty? How is her looks wise? Is she covered in soot or? I, she's dirt? definitely not clean. Oh. Okay, well. Um, oh, with all the blaster fire and yeah, I'm gonna combat definitely, and stuff. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna ask her if she would like me to do this. Say, hey, Ro. Um, first, we're gonna clean you off to make you look all pretty. And secondly, um, do you, are you cool with me installing an auto turret on the top of your head? Or it could technically go below your... Uh, I don't know if you necessarily define a head as an astromech, but... Um, give me a persuasion check. You know what this reminds me of? This is when people tape knives to their Roombas and they call it... <laughs> knives. I love it. This is the Star Yo. Wars version. I love it. Okay, so Tesca just, I thought it was going to be a three, and then it flipped over one more, and it was a 20, so 19 oh. plus one. Um, RO just kind of like rocks back and forth excitedly with beep boops, which yes. I won't try to mimic. That's, that, can, is there any other way, I, is there any other parts or anything I could take from that other droid to, to, to boost row up even better? Uh, I would need another check, t t uh, tech check on that. But as you're doing this, the guy with the goggles who's standing there, like kind of looking over your shoulder, says, oh. um, I'll deal with that nat one in a second. The guy with the goggles looks at you guys, it looks at you and says, Oh, if you're if you're trying to mount the the gun turret to the the RO unit, um, you'll need a like a like a pad or something to control the gun. Okay. I think I think we have something like that around here. Let me let me take a look. You might it might work. Um as this is as he says this, you just start looking over the Astrotech droid and like you're pulling on it to see if you can get more pieces. Yeah, and any more of these wires is working. And wires are just being just pulled from this. It is it's even a, I I it's would a techno like to, service droid. Techno I service would, droid. That's, that's it. the word. It just popped into my head. Yes. <laughs> I got overexcited, and uh, I decided I don't need this because I'm gonna put a turret on my road droid. This none of this works. I got nothing for you. I I'm just gonna set it aside, and put it in a bin, and then remind myself to take that bin later. Give me a uh, to to end this segment. Give me a perception check with disadvantage. Okay. Well, I don't know how if it's going to go any lower than that. Oh, nat one and a five. Okay, so a nat one and a five. Tetsuka, you notice nothing out of the ordinary. And with that, I'm going to transition real quick back to the people that are in the bathroom. So, uh, Jen, you, you enter into the bathroom and, and the ba then follows and softly closes the door and he turns to you and says, So, what do you want to know? How did you get off of the Death Star? How did you get off the Death Star? I saw you there. I recognize you. Who asked who first? Well, you asked me first, but it's the, you're an officer, and I was... I was the equivalent of a slave. I was uh, just barely janitorial. They treated me horribly. I saw as... Admiral Reigns got a call from the Emperor himself saying that they needed to get off the Death Star. And he took Amelia and they got on a ship and left just as the rebels showed up. They left me there. They abandoned me. How did you get off? 
I just, I took a ship, stole it, did not have clearance, and left. They didn't even notice in the chaos. Why did you leave? Um, can I try again with the lore check to see if there is a rebel phrase that I can... That's a five. I am going to use a <laughs> destiny point. <laughs> I... <laughs> I that is our... That. That's our first destiny point, folks. First destiny point in play here. Beautiful. Okay, so... Uh, Jen, you use a destiny point here, so you roll a 15 to see if you know a phrase. Um, and the first phrase that comes to mind would be Phoenix. Ooh, okay. Does, does the name Phoenix mean anything to you? So you are a rebel. You're one of us. I couldn't be sure. Yeah, um, I am. That's why I left. I... I've been spying for the past year and a half and transferring information that way. Um, they told me ahead of time what was going to happen and I made preparations and left. I'm glad they got to someone I couldn't get through for months. I had been trapped on the Death Star. And it, it's, I, you know, I kind of thought that when I saw you in combat, you don't fight like a normal fighter, you fight with conviction the heart of a rebel. I knew it was you. Um, this is, I, I just, there's something I, I really need your help with. Um, and I'm gonna take out the data pad that I've kept close by all this time. And say, I, there is some incredibly vital information here. And I don't know, I, 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 I don't know how to, get it to where they need to be, the base where I, I used to be it might not still be in operation. Um, I've been able to open it. I don't know what Project Dark Trooper means, and I don't think we want to know. And I need to know that this is going to get into the right hands. Do you have an immediate contact? You know about Project Dark Trooper? What do you know? That is what I need to get to General Dadana. I need to send a message as quick as we can. It is, it is the Emperor's response. It's something he's been working on for some time. It's this project taking robots and assembling them to be the ultimate weapon, worse than a, worse than a planet killer. They're doing it in Coruscant. They're taking old separatist parts and assembling them into abominations. I, they, I'm sure it would behoove you to know that they're, they're doing experiments in the sewers. If you weren't already aware, I have a, a record of what's happening here. If that is any help. We need to get to a communications tower or a ship or something to send a message. Then no one knows at the rebellion, only you and I were the only ones who escaped with this information. That, yeah, I know we need to to get that there as soon as possible. I. All right, I. I as soon as we're out of here, we we will. We'll, we'll go to a, a place where we can't be traced. Um, at some sort of communication tower, so that we can do. What is, what is your, connection with Officer Reinhardt? Um. Nothing anymore. But well, we both know that that is not true, now is it? She wants nothing to do with me, and I... I don't know, I... I told her that I was going to leave hoping that I could save her, it was stupid, and I, I just... She told me that um, she didn't want to see me again. And then if I left, that was that was the end. Um, so I left without her, um, which was 
I don't know whether that's a good decision yet. Well, you should know that when she left with Reigns, she was terribly conflicted. She was very upset. She tried her best to hide it from the Admiral, but I fear she, he saw right through it. Saw right through... What happened? Did he do something? No, but as I saw them as they left, there was a cloudiness over her, over her face, some kind of aura. She was upset. It seems like he could see it just like I could. Anybody could. She's not good at hiding it. Yeah, she never has been. Um, thank you for telling me. I, I mean, I, you know, I, I hope, well, I don't know, I don't know. Listen, before we go back out there, you should know. These men are not to be trusted. And with that, we are going to jump right over to Runa and Kato. <laughs> oh my God. Who are outside <laughs> because we have the party split. So everybody's got to keep moving. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, Runa and Kato, you guys are standing outside and um, you just watch the droid go into the room <laughs> that, that Tetsuka's in. God. It just kind of bounced out. Okay. So that happened. What would you guys like to do? Is there any back to packs around here or something like Al? So there is that storage room that okay. Tetsuka's in, which you guys could definitely go yeah, into. Yeah, I'll follow the droid over there. And as I go, I'm just going to kind of like look back over my shoulder. Oh, wait, that's not the right room. But yeah, I will look I will... back. It's to the south. Okay. I will look back over my shoulder and just tell Kato, like, come on. We gotta, like, I don't know, get patched up somehow. Are you okay? Like, you no. look really, yeah. I, I didn't think so. You look really rough. Can I show you something? Uh, okay. <laughs> Not in that way. I don't know, man. Right. What do you mean? <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs> oh God. That was like, like just nasty know, people. <laughs> timing, you... man. No, okay, wait. You like Adam to show off. She's no, she's she speaks a little softly and kind of leans in. You like to show off certain abilities an awful lot. You're in for it now. Out of character before I respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> Did I notice Runa attempt to heal herself when we first got in? She did not actually. She didn't actually. She was actually. just thinking about it. She didn't actually. She was just thinking yeah, about that it. That was that was an internal thing. She didn't actually. She wasn't gonna do it, girl. She was just thinking about it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I Kato would respond. Well, considering that we tend to find ourselves in life-threatening situations every couple hours, I feel as though it's worth it at this point. Okay, fine. That's for you. But you don't get to do that for me. Sooner or later, you're going to have to understand that the galaxy just doesn't work that way anymore. To you. For me, so you're just going to so you're just going to sit by and let people get hurt left and right. Is that really my what world now? That's your world now. Really. So everything that you learned in the academy, everything you learned at the temple meant nothing to you. Not a thing. Okay, shh. First of all, shh. I don't talk about that part of my life anymore. I don't think about that part of my life anymore. Everything is different. I have people who matter. I can't save everyone. That was why everything that happened, happened. We thought we could save everyone. Yes, but at least we went down trying. It's not about how many people you save. It's about whether you keep trying to or not. We took an oath. I don't care if your life's different now. I don't care how many people you have to care about. You're stuck with us. As much as I hate being in this situation, as much as I despise having to follow around a tiny Wookiee, I'm not gonna let him die. 
are you? Have I done anything that's risked anyone's life here? Oh, I don't know. Getting into a turret was probably not your best idea. That saved Tetsuka. And what if it didn't? I tried. You, You take risks like it's nothing. You act as though you are the only person in this group and you are taking risks left and right. I take risks. Every single time that I have indulged and used my powers, I have done it knowing that it would at least help someone. If you want to talk about being a good person and you want to talk about your life, that's fine. Don't rope other people into your risk taking and put other people's lives in danger just because you have a family like that. Says the person who wants to blow my cover. I'm not trying to blow your cover. I'm trying to accept in front of everyone. Accept who you are. I don't have to do that. Fine. And that is my choice to make. Is that clear? Then when the cards are down and you're alone, I'm not going to be there for you. Okay. Nice, nice contradictory statement there. Trying to save people and then not. I'm not going to save someone who refuses to even act like they have an opportunity to do something better. This is because I'm using my gun instead of other abilities? Is is that what this is really coming down to? Why can't you just accept who you are? Why is that such an issue? Why is it such an issue for you that I do? We took an oath. You might have. I was a child. I didn't have a choice. And you think I did? You think when they took me off Nautilin, you think when they brought me into the order and they told me that I had to wear a mask for the rest of my life and I no longer had an identity, you think I had a choice in that? I didn't have a choice either. We came out of it two very different people, obviously. Your oath brings you comfort. I didn't make an oath. My and oath is if the only did, thing that keeps me grounded. Okay, good for you. That's not me. And Runa turns and walks away. At which point, Tesca, <laughs> you are starting to uh, take our O apart. And this this guy, Quinn, is kind of rummaging around on the floor, uh, going through boxes and, and junk that they have there. And he finds a really dinky looking, kind of half put together, but it's one of those armbands that he referenced uh mm-hmm. if you could real quick give me give me a technology check it's, we'll just go with, give me a technology check Woof. that's a seven would you like to keep it or Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> that is a seven. <laughs> That's a se- hey, hey, there's audio <laughs> listeners now. Thank you, everyone on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. This is a shout out to you. Back to Tetsuka. Uh, the way you're looking at me, for those on uh, Spotify Apple Podcasts, um, <laughs> I guess, uh, can I insight to see if, I, like, do I trust this man? Because sure. I don't know what that is. Yes. And so I immediately look at him like, I don't know if that's what it says he is. So I'm going to try to inside. Do I trust him? Okay. So he's rummaging around looking for this. And then as he looks up, he like pops his uh, goggles out and he's, you know, now he's making eye contact with you. And you just get this feeling of like, he's a, he's being genuine right now. He's not trying. He's genuinely trying to see if you could do this. Uh, then, uh, yeah, I take it. And I go, so um, I know what this is, but remind me what it is in case I'm lying to you that I know what it is. Excellent. So what we can do is mm-hmm. connect this mm-hmm. gun turret and mm-hmm. your droid okay. to this wrist pad, and it'll okay. give you the option to target the gun turret from your wrist. 
I like it, I love it, and I think I probably can figure out how to do it. But I would like to say, and I look him in the eyes and I go, you've been really helpful to me. And I just, I know that you're probably working for a really bad evil organization, but uh, I really appreciate this. I haven't got to sat down and work on droids and it's been a while. It's been a, it's been a while. So I just, I just want to say thank you, bud. And I give him a pat on the arm. I absolutely um i i'm kind of i'm kind of the gearhead around here i i make sure everything is working um you know i build a couple of things here and there and i'm an engineer i'm the gearhead too for my for my team uh uh we don't have a team name yet um and uh you know i don't i haven't been a part of a team in a while so So anyways, when we figure this out, I'm going to let you fire first. Does that sound cool or does that sound cool? I, that sounds fine. Um, should we try to attach this item to your droid? Yes. Well, yes. 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 It's not going to take away its free will, right? Because I, I don't want to take away Rose's free will. She's got well, a very unique, spicy personality. So the way that this thing works, and if while I'm saying this, give me another technology check. Mm -hmm. um, the way that this would work, it, like there's no ammunition on this. Yeah, that's that's a 19 plus 5, 24. He says, with this particular model of droid, we would be hooking this gun up to this RO unit's battery core. Mm -hmm. So every shot you take is going to detract from its battery pack and then eventually you know it'll have zero and the bot will just freeze until you can charge it again okay and do you think we can rig an external way to charge batteries into it i mean i'm i'm sure we could do something like that but i, I don't have the tools to do that here i don't have the extra the extra okay. fuel canisters to do that i'm gonna write on my data pad and go build external battery inserter for a row and then put a little smiley face and I'm so, going, what was your name again, beautiful? To the I, guy. My name is Quinn. Quinn. I write down Quinn with a little heart next to it. Uh, so, and then just out of character, uh, hmm. you you would know, especially with the 24, if your droid, has, which it does, it has 18 hit points. Mm -hmm. Every shot you take with this is going to detract six hit points from RO. And when it hits zero... Oh it will freeze, it will stop being able to move. So you've got three shots with this item. Assuming but, it doesn't happen. That's, that's fair enough, I'll take it, I'll take those. I so, can mend I mean, robots anyway, so it's it's we can figure something out. You could always upgrade your bot as time goes on, but as of right now, attaching this blaster cannon to it, you get three shots and then it hits zero. Perfect, that sounds good to me. Okay, so... Um, if you'd like to get started, I could help you uh, attach this thing. Actually, really quick, uh, Quinn, um, do you have food by chance? My team needs to eat. They get a little rowdy when we don't eat, uh, especially me. I, I need food. <laughs> I need food in my, uh, my belly. And we, we do. Uh, let me go take a look. So he's going to walk out of the room and totally walk right into Runa standing here. Where's, where'd Kato go? Oh, Kato walked away. <laughs> Kato was off my map. I was like, where'd he go? Technically, um, I had walked away from Kato. That, that is the, true. The room, is but true. I, couldn't, oh, I, I couldn't move. I'm switching your places then. Thank you. Okay, so then fine. for canon, <laughs> uh, Quinn walks past Kato. Um, he doesn't really take a look at Kato too much. He's too busy. Brooding. Angry dad brooding moment. <laughs> uh, he walks away. D you know, Tetsuka? Okay. What are, you, what are you doing? The floor is yours. Okay. So I would like to investigate the room to see if there's anything else there that my team could use. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Okay. So... This guy, as he's going through all these boxes that are on the floor, he ends up dumping stuff out and he's leaving kind of a mess behind. Mm -hmm. You get the feeling right away, this is the guy leaving the messes in this room. 
Okay. Clean it up. I clean it yeah. up. Okay. And, and yeah, as you start you going do. through it, um, you find a bunch of objects that don't look like conventional engineering pieces. They don't look like the gears and, and wires you're used to. What do they look? Can I tech check that or? You can give me a tech check on that. Okay. Tech check. They're my favorite kind of checks. Ooh. Do they look spicy? Do they look very interesting? Um, they look very interesting, but I'm not sure you know I, what I they wouldn't are. know what they are. I'm gonna take them anyways. Cause he's out of this room. That means it's my room. That means I'm gonna take stuff now. Okay. So I start stuffing this stuff in my backpack. Anything that looks cool, ammunition, any back to packs or anything, med packs, I'm taking it and I'm shoving it in my backpack. You find eight miscellaneous pieces of Something. technology that you you can't really discern excellent 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 um and there's nothing else in the room right there's no guns there's no at least that i could find now it's all just tech gear and did i hear them shouting outside give me a perception check because you probably would have and i actually i need jen to do that too uh-oh <laughs> because they were standing no, we right were outside the bathroom uh oh. <laughs> well, we were kind of being quiet. Like I, I, I had this image but of I, like being I like really close. I know in my close. heart when my team is when when family. It's family. Stop. <laughs> hey, by the time this airs, the memes are probably gone. <laughs> never. They'll never die. Um. The however, no. Tetsuka, you definitely heard a little Angry bit of Kato getting Kato's, heated, uh, but you did not hear anything Runa was saying. Um. Jen I just heard, heard nothing. I just heard Kato getting angry. Yeah. Which okay. is nothing new. I would like, well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, I know it will make him happy. I walk, oh. I waddle outside to him and I oh, say, no. is he looking frowny? Is he still got that frowny frown on his face? Is it more frowny than usual? It's like a, like a scowl. He, he's pretty pissed off. I, uh, I look at him and I go, hey. What? Don't worry, okay? I know you're mad and I know that it's all this whole situation is crazy, but I'm getting us some food. You're welcome. It's okay. You don't have to say it. You know, I always care about you guys. I, uh, I'm always looking out for you. I, uh, I know, I know I'm pretty amazing. I just, uh, I pat him on the leg and I say, uh, you're not a vegetarian or are you anything? They're kind of scrawny. I don't know if you, I will eat you. Eat. You won't eat me. Wookiees eat people. People don't eat Wookiees. That's ridiculous. We're too hairy. I'm a Nautilin. What do you think? Do Nautilins eat Wookiees? Can I lore check that? I don't know if I'm genuinely <laughs> fearful. Because this is news to me. Um, like yeah, go lore? ahead and give me a lore check on that. Okay, do Nautilins eat Wookiees? And now I open up the Google. <laughs> The fact that I turned a joke into an actual lore check no. makes me really, really happy. Like I'm scared. I don't, the I don't know. The answer is no. Like, okay. I love Kato, but he's a loose cannon cop with nothing to lose. All right. Okay. True. Just out of character, I searched, did Nautilins eat Wookiees? And the first option it gave me was, how many hearts do Nautilins have? 14? Oh. They have 14 hearts? That's why he's so loving and caring. <laughs> <laughs> he's got so many hearts. 14 hearts in oh one big old black hole. <laughs> um, you know what? They just need to go three times their size. Our the real question is, is our Nautilins... Come on, we got some lore masters here. Our Nautilins... Uh, I have a book, but I don't have it with me. So. I'm pretty sure they're they like pescatarian slash yeah, vegetarian. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're pescatarian. I'm pretty yeah. sure they just eat... I, I honestly think Ewoks and Wookiees are probably I, the only race... Outside of um, Trandoshans that eat people. I think Trandoshans, yeah. Wookiees, and Ewoks are the ones that eat people. All right, so then just... I, I always forget that about the, the Ewoks. They ate the Stormtroopers. The... <laughs> <laughs> they um, did. So then, and, and this may or, not, may or may not be retconned if somebody calls us out on it, but for right now, we're <laughs> going to go with Nautilins are pescatarians. Okay, I'm going to remember that Nautilins are... Uh, and uh, look at him and be like, are you okay, bud? You look a little grumpier than usual. Usually it's at a five. Looks like you're at a six or seven. Well, you're very perceptive, aren't you? 
No, not at all. Very unperceptive, I've been told. Yes. Things are not going the way I thought they would. With who? Do you like one of the one of the girlies? Is it the little guy that's with us? No. It's not the little guy that's with us. Okay, is it one of the girls? I don't know how Nautilins work. I you all kind of humanoids look all the same to me, if I'm honest. I, it's not a love thing. It's just I'm not seeing eye to eye, and I'm kind of having a crisis of glasses. You need bifocals. If you interrupt me one more time, I'm going to punch you across this room. I I nod my head. So I you I'm jumping ahead. I apologize, and I hold both of his hands. I clasp both of his hands in mine. I say, "All right, who upset you, Speed?" We will talk about it when we get on the ship. We can talk about it. Come into my office. Come, 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 come. I drag him into. I I kind of in, in, encourage him to step into my office, and I, I say, uh, "Pardon the mess." Sorry. Uh, Kato, are you going to follow? Yeah, I'll follow. <laughs> okay, so you you enter into the room and you're greeted by. Um, the top of Aro's head is off. There is a hidden a, a gun turret sitting there on the table. The trashed uh, 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 Trade Federation droid sitting there, and there's a disaster mess of gears all over the floor. I uh, I, I I scoot the workbench. I kind of get some gears and I swipe it across and I pat it down and take a seat. And I kind of I lift myself up onto the workbench and wiggle my little butt so that I can eventually sit down where I would hopefully sit next to him. This is where you've been working this whole time? I mean, whole time, it's been it's been a few minutes. I wouldn't say whole time. It's a mess. Yes, yes, it is a mess, but it's, it's a literal translation of your metaphorical angst that you're currently feeling. So talk to me, what's, what's going on? Why are you upset, buddy? Is it because he used the force? Because we really should talk about... I, I actually, I, I jump off the, the table and shut the door. And then I turn back and I realize it's going to be too much of a hassle to get back on the workbench. So I'm standing now. I Wait, so what, was, I, uh, what was that all about? Was that you? I, was it I, Was it Jet? It was Jen, wasn't it? I don't I know. she was a Jedi. I don't Maybe know what Sith? you saw, but I did not use the force. So it was Jen. Who'd you see? Who did it? Was you it did. the Bothan? No, you did. You I definitely didn't use, look, man, I have tried to use the force a lot, like a lot. Like I even went to the account when I was there, there was masters and I was like, can I use the force? And they, they said no. So I definitely can't. So it wasn't me. Well, let's it's test not that. Rogue. Do you want to test that theory? Let's test it. I, I kind of raise my hands and I go, well, maybe, I maybe I'm you, a Jedi. I want you to reach out. Okay. And I want out. you to imagine mm -hmm. that turret on your workbench. Okay, okay. Okay, I want you to really just envision it in your mind. Uh, shooting something. Let's just focus on lifting it first. Okay, oh. lifting, lifting, okay, lifting. I want you to really focus on it, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to close mm -hmm. your yep. eyes. I want mm -hmm. you to count okay. down from 10. Okay, one, on one, two, wait, on one? Yes, count, count on one? down from 10. One. Okay, Do, is it on go, one go, one zero, just one? On one, I want three, you to- two, one. Two, three, two, one. Give three. me ten. Okay. Ten. Are weird. I don't know why it has to be. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, th four, three, two, one. And I want to put my hand down by my side and kind of lift the turret a little <laughs> bit as he opens his eyes on one. <laughs> okay. I do it. What do I have to roll for that? <laughs> yeah. G uh, give me a lore check. Okay. Will that be sleight of hand since I'm like trying to hide the fact that I'm using it? I'll give you, yeah, I'll give you a sleight of hand. Go ahead. Okay. Give me a sleight of hand check. Okay. I'm going to use a perception. Oh, and that's a oh nat 20. Oh my god! All right. Uh, Kato rolls a nat 20 with a 22 sleight of hand to wiggle. In good Last Jedi Luke Skywalker fashion, he's lifting the hidden turret up off the ground just enough. I gasp. I yeah. gasp an audible, I am a Jedi. See? I don't know. Uh, no, I've got a lot in me. What else can I do? You think I could, you know, I heard rumors oh, okay, that they okay, can okay, shoot okay. fire. Okay. The no, bad no, no, guys no, no, can no, no, shoot no. fire. Slow down, slow down. Sorry, sorry, 
Sorry. You lifted a turret. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's great. Mm-hmm. Let's just call that a day, and maybe another day we'll try something else. Okay. I have to tell everyone. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, no, think about it. Think about it. Hold on. Okay. Wait, think, think about it. What if? Yeah. What if mm-hmm. we don't tell any of the crew? Mm-hmm. We yeah. train okay. you. We get your skills like mm-hmm. way better that you yeah. can like do anything, and then we'll show it to them after your skills are like super crazy. Uh huh. That's that. I like that idea. I like it a lot. We'll do and like I a talent show. We'll do a talent show, and you get to showcase all your four skills. That sounds amazing. I have an idea. I have a better idea though. And I, I lift up my eye patch, and I pop out my eyeball. Uh! <laughs> it's a robotic, t- it's a robotic eyeball. Put it back in, and please. I put, put it, it on, on the, the table. No, please, just put it back in. And I click a button. And a series of events and missions pop up. And I look at it and I smile and go, see this? This means I've been to the Jedi Academy I'm because I used to work so, for the Republic. I'm so happy for you. Can you put your eyeball back in your head, please? Well, no, it's important to me that you understand this because I, I really wish I was a Jedi because my life would have been different. But my life as it was is that um, I lost everything and everyone. And you have to understand that when you've really lost everything and everyone, you can kind of look at other people and know that they've lost everything and everyone. And guess what? That's me and that's you. And guess what that means? What does that mean? That I have lost a family before. That my father betrayed me, sent a hit squad after me. All the droids that I work with, my D squad beta unit, They're all destroyed. I have lost everything. And the only thing that makes me get through it is laughing at the situation to know that I shouldn't even be here. That I've outsmarted Jedi that were looking for me. I've outsmarted clone troopers. I've outsmarted spies because I'm a silly, oafish little Wookiee. And I get that. And that's the key to every situation, to think that Nobody thinks you know what you're doing, but the truth is, I do. So, Force, not Force, I know what the Force is. I've seen it in action. It's a beautiful, magical, mystical thing. And I know when someone does it. Maybe I just did it. I don't know, but I definitely know that you've done it. And I definitely know that you're hiding it. And we're gonna have a serious discussion because you, sir, are a Jedi. You carry yourself like a Jedi. The way you hold your vibro sword, it's exactly like a Jedi does it. You can't hide it. And no one who's seen a Jedi wouldn't understand that. But I've seen it because I'm old. Don't have many years left in me. Half my life was spent there. So let me tell you something, Kato. I love you guys, I do. Because I'm gonna be honest, I really don't have many years left in me. So this whole thing is probably my last two raw. And if we find lightsabers, ah, I'm going to use one. I've never used it before. I've always wanted to use one. When everything went bad and they told me, hey, hey, Tetsuka, you got to kill any Jedi you see or we're going to kill you and all your droids. And I said, no, Dad, I don't want to do that. And he said, we don't have a choice. I've already nixed all my droids. We're getting out of this unit because these people are going to betray us. And we're going to have a whole discussion, especially with that Jen girl. She's hiding a lot of stuff. Empire stuff? Uh, very suspicious. Very suspicious. All of you guys are very suspicious. And yeah, I saw Jen walk out the door, so I know you were talking to her. And you guys, you keep clicking together like nobody sees that you guys are never in a room together. And you said it wasn't love, so it's definitely something else. And quick question, just to bring it all around. How would you know, Kato, what a Jedi does? How would you even know how the Force works? What gives you the 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 thought for the foresight to tell someone how to use it? Because I am one. And yet you say you're not perceptive. Buddy, there's a lot more to me than you think. Anyways, let's go get some food. And I walk out the door. At which point, um... Runa, you would have walked over closer to 
uh, the whole facility where they're, where they're doing all those computer, where all the computer screens are. Uh, I need to know what, where you're going. That you just had your fight with with Kato, and you. She's just away. mad. <laughs> she's <Yeah>. just angry, <laughs> and she's just walking away. Food. Like, <laughs> food is always good if you're upset. <laughs> she's just grumbling to herself. <laughs> yes, that's pretty much it. Now you would you would have seen them go into the bathroom, and you would have just heard when uh, Tetsuka brings Kato into his office. Mm -hmm. So. Quick question. Ro is in there with them, correct? Correct. Yes, she is. Okay. She's off, though, technically, right? Yeah, it's powered down. Yeah, yeah, currently, Runa's one thing is, like, not trusting the other girl. So but there is a flash drive sticking out of Ro that also has the information on it. Exactly. Um, hmm. Where, where was the stuff that you had said, uh, the healing? Where, where were we... Oh, like, in my office. Um, in there? Yeah. Okay, well, just for the sake of all of this as well, like, you know, Rune is obviously, like, trying to sort through all of her emotions <laughs> right now. And so, you know, she will have spent a few minutes just trying to, you know, get back to cool, calm, and collected. Like, she doesn't care about anything. And um, then... She'll probably try and walk in to that room. Okay. So you take a few minutes, <laughs> you process, and yeah, you're able, to, you guys walk into that room. But before we continue there, um, I'm going to say that this is the equivalent of a short rest. So you guys have taken a short rest. Oh, thank uh, God. You get, you get hit goodness. points back from that. Uh, so you can go ahead and, and adjust your, your sheets based on however much you get back. Um, Jen, I'll, I'll take care of yours as well. Um, yeah, you step around and you see in that room where Kato is sitting down and Tetsuka is standing next to him. Um, looks like they were talking about something important as both of them are kind of frozen silent. Hello. Great. All good. Foundry kind of glitched out for me for a second there. It did for me too. <laughs> so I, I don't know what just happened. I don't have Wait. a map back. Give it a refresh. Joke. But regardless, you enter into the room uh, and you see Tetsuka and, and Kato sitting there. The R, you see the, the RO unit is heads missing. The flash drive is still attached to it. And is Tetsuka like on his way out to go find food or something or wait he this is in the moment oh, where he's about he's room. walking away yeah okay so um i'm just going to nonchalantly walk straight over to ro and uh get that hollow thing out yeah you walk over and you, you pull the, the flash drive out of it that's fine and then i'm gonna um, slip it in a pocket an inner pocket in my jacket. I would like to whisper to her, but not stop to address it. I would just like to whisper as I walk by, I know, and I keep walking. <laughs> yeah, Tetsuka <laughs> walks out uh, of the room as he says the whispers I know to you. Um, and Tetsuka, you just you kind of follow the same path that your, your boy Quinn walked. Um, I'd like to take a second and jump back to, to Jen. We're back in the bathroom now. So moments ago, uh, the Bavin Ogo says to you, we cannot trust these men. What makes you, how did you get captured by them? They are Timo the Hutt's men. When I, I left on the Death Star, I was a stowaway on a ship. It was a transport shuttle. And uh, well, we didn't get out quick enough. The Death Star exploded and the impact from the explosion hit the ship and we were floating in space. The whole ship shut down. Eventually, scavengers came to salvage the ship and salvage what was left of the Death Star. It, there was plenty of remains left over even after the explosion. We saw it, it was terrifying. They boarded our ship and 
Uh, all of the troopers that were there were all, they were all executed. And then when they found me, they said that they figured that because I am a Bothan, that I must be part of the Rebel Alliance. And they brought me uh, captive, said that they would ransom me back to the Rebellion. Well, we just will make sure they don't find out our little secret. Yes, but I think it goes further than that. While I was being held by them, they talked about war stories, about how they used to go mm -hmm. after the, the, the Jedi of the past. They would go and find scavengers and scoundrels who were out and they would be turning them over to the Empire. They told us stories about, I heard them, they would tell themselves stories. They would brag about it, how they would torture Jedi after they lure them into traps. Okay. The thing is this guy, <laughs> I mean, Dinos has our fates in his hand, more or less. You know, he's he, he's sort of our ticket to not being chased by the huts if he's if we're in his good graces. You don't think that that'll work out well for us? I do not know. All I know is is that if they were capable of turning children over to the Empire, I'm not sure what they're not capable of. Well, I guess we ought to get them their information and get out of here as soon as possible. I think you are right. But we would have been here for too long. I think we should return to the group before someone becomes suspicious. I agree. Okay, um, he follows He follows you out of the bathroom. Um, you're here in the empty hallway. I'm gonna jump back over to Runa. Runa, you've got the chip in your pocket. Um, what are you going to do? Runa's not gonna speak to Kato, even though he's in the room. Oh no, Kato has his head down. He's not looking yeah, she, at She's not all. addressing him. She's not doing anything. Um, nope. And I actually wanna go back to our ship outside okay so you make a you just kind of go straight to the ship yeah okay like casually hands in pockets like i'm just going to get a bag okay um you will get as far as past the you just get like kind of halfway through here if you're seeing on the map um no i'm not sorry okay so so you're 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 just get past the hollow terminal and you see that the, you pass the conference room. There's glass in there. Uh, and you can kind of peek in and see that they have got this uh, Rodian, the one that you guys were after, they're holding him down and just wailing on him, beating him. Um, you can't hear anything, but you see them practically torturing this guy. Yeah, I'm stepping in the door at which point, um, you, so you're gonna, you could stop right there by the door. Um, yeah. Kato, you saw, you saw Runa exit the room. Jen, you saw uh, um, Runa pass by you. Now, Tetska, you're still looking for Quinn, yes? Yeah, I'm looking for Quinn slash looking for food. I just assumed it was over. Okay, so as you walk down, uh, you, you're walking down, kind of looking around for him. Um, give me a perception check real quick. Okay. The more doors, the better, I say. Oh, yeah. You hear scuffling like crazy coming from the back room. I would like to stealth check my way in. Give me a stealth check. Okay, so with... You, you get an 11. Um... Do you think you're stealthed? <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to um, 
That's the best sentence in the world. <laughs> ah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, as I'm opening the door and hearing the noises, I'm going to shout, is there food in here? As I'm opening up the door. You hear from behind the room, oh, there's more than one here. Hear another voice. I don't know if that came through on Zoom or anything, but it's oh, it did. It's an alien voice. Good, good. Um, and then you, all you hear is punches and kicks. It's more scuffling coming from the room. Hey, I, I, go yeah. check that door. And you see another Rodian pop out of the door, gun in hand and looks right at you and raises the gun to you. Um, I say, i just looking for food, sir. I'm just looking for food. Everyone roll initiative. <laughs> no! Oh what? 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 Ah, uh, you didn't see it coming, did you? What? <laughs> that is garbage. Well, oh. now we get to test if the fight actually meant something. <laughs> what the heck? Hold on, there are so many people going into this combat, it's insane. No! Oh, there are so why? many people. No, the people on the board and then the ones that you don't see that are getting... Uh. Added. What do you mean we don't see? There's no other rooms in here. Oh, contraire. I wasn't going in there aggressively. Tetsuka, why do you do this? It wasn't me. I'm the, just the, the look. Oh if someone's my beating God. someone up and okay. you fight, you don't blame the person who fights them. You blame the person beating them up. I was just looking for food. I'm a so, hungry Wookiee, okay? So screwed. We're so screwed. What? What? That is okay. so many people. We're so screwed. At the start of this encounter, the guy pointing the gun at Tetsuka goes to shoot. Um, let's see if he hits. And he hits Tetsuka hard with an eight. Yuck. Okay. At which point we the three of you. Not doing combat this week. The three, just wait. This is great. The three of you all see come from the ceiling. Well, I'm sorry, from uh, the entrance, the land, the speeder entrance. Yeah. You see a Twi'lek, two Twi'leks come popping out, daggers drawn. And you see from the other side where your ship is, other people come in entering the room, guns in hand. What is this? What happened? I, oh my God. Can I use a free action just to like yell? I told you it was going to be an ambush. Um, Kato, give me real quick. Give me a um, perception check. I know it's not my turn, but like. It's not your surprised. turn, but give me a perception check. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. Kato, as you look over, you recognize one of the Twi'leks instantly. No! <laughs> what? Why do we? Do I see recognized? Yeah, would do? Oh crap! You <laughs> manipulative <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> what? I knew it. I I'm never answering your Instagram DMs anymore. Back to <laughs> I'm never answering them anymore. I mean, it was gonna happen. I'm never answering your messages anymore. Okay, back at Tetska, the Athorian mm -hmm. steps up and you could see him now, and he says, no, don't you get it? We're supposed to take them alive. Although, it says it in a Thorian. And he just okay. slaps the Rodian on the back of the head. What is happening? <laughs> the uh, Quinn goes, and you just hear, like, <laughs> coming from back in the Queen. room. Uh, Jen, it's your turn. What? What? <laughs> Wait, say that again. But I still don't know what's happening. What? You're so, you're 
There's an ambush. I'm super confused. Ugh. Somehow, ambush. like I that's saw the point of an ambush. A, wait, wait, no. I need. <laughs> I kind of need a little bit ex- of explaining because, like, I was passing a window and then I was gonna step in a door, but then Tetska opened a door and got different door, different part of the room. Yeah. I am super confused. So it was, was just, just a straight up ambush. Like there was this... nothing triggering it. It was just a straight up ambush. If you. Um, yeah. Do you know I just happen to be the one to find it first. Let's say that again. Who, who's against us? Is it Dinos's guys that are attacking no, us? No, no, no. It's this oh. is other people oh. storming in, Coming ambushing the this base. Okay. It's okay. And they've okay. snuck in. That makes more sense. Now. Okay. And they're ambushing the base. Guys, All right. we are not this it popular. It looks great we for everybody. Ambushed. <laughs> everybody watching our show but Ugh. that's for our spotify people they're getting ambushed okay yeah, and... okay um uh okay in that case i am going to once my boundary starts behaving the way it should i'm gonna am i line of sight do i have like absolutely yeah you could see two of them within line of sight gorgeous okay um I, yeah, my, my foundry's not acting right, but can I, will I have to move closer or can I just take a shot at someone as they run in? You can, you can move twice to get line of sight, to get close enough and, and not shoot Kato. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds good. You'd like to move those two spaces. Oh, yeah, uh, I mean, my, I, yeah. Yeah, let's take that little move and then can I, Take aim? Yes, you can take aim at one of them and you will fire with, you've got, okay, you've got a slug thrower or a shotgun. Oh, right, hmm. I don't know if I need to, I, how many grenades do I have? I believe you have two. Hmm. You have two grenades. Okay. Um. Huh. I'll, I'll hold on to him. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the shotgun for now. Actually, no, no. You know what? Screw it. it, it it's grenade time. We're, oh we're my god! <laughs> That's the caption of this episode, it's folks. Grenade it's grenade, grenade time. time. <laughs> god bless. All right. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Jen shoots with a 14, which hits. The grenade explodes, and the guy takes nine damage, but I think he, there's residuals, so let me just look that up, at which point it is now uh, the other guy's turn. Oh my god. This guy moves into, these, these two guys come in, they move into range, guns drawn, and they try to shoot at the astromech droids. One of them hits and does seven damage to the astromech. The other one goes and misses. And now from inside the room, you see the door open inside the conference room. The big guy, Borl, comes charging out. Dinos comes charging out and the little guy comes charging out. They look around and they they yell, what's going on here? These guys just showed up. They're and we're being ambushed. At which point, the Twi'lek, standing next to the one you just exploded, <laughs> looks at all of you and says, Dinos, you're such a fool. Working with these, what are they? These scoundrels. They're not even that good. They left survivors who called oh. Timo and told us everything. I warned you guys. This is me wagging my finger. Uh, Never leave we survivors. Total, we totally did too. I was trying oh, to shoot that mercenary. No. You didn't we let said me. We were working for Dino. Uh, we totally did. We get to two and two together though. Oh. Especially if they followed us, because we didn't see if they followed us or not. But you know, Timo was so convinced that you wouldn't cross him until we got the signal from Groro's droid at this location. That's what he did. Oh, uh, oh I, that's what the, I was ripping him to pieces and the, the alarm went off. Whoops. 
Why so are sometimes the I'm good at my job. Of our Other times Why I'm not. Why is the source of all of our problems? <laughs> <laughs> you know, at which you point? Think the drunken monk strategy, something is bound to go every wrong. Every time. Every time. Dinos uh, reaches back and grabs Goro, who's still restrained, holds him up, and puts a gun to his head. And says to her, <laughs> you're going to back up. Or I'm gonna blow this Rodian's brains all over the floor. And she says, Oh God. He failed. Timo doesn't care about him anymore. Sure. At which point, uh, it is Tetska's turn. Oh my god. All right. Tetska, so, you just got shot by the Rodian, but they're kind of messing around themselves. I would like is Tetska. Tetska's in I one of the back like rooms. To um, put my thespian, my improv uh, club work uh, into action. And I would like to fake an, a heart attack. <laughs> I would like shout, oh my god, and then fall over. Performance <laughs> check. Oh my god, you don't understand how scared I got when he was about to say, I want to try to force push someone away. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I mean, like, I'm ready for oh it. My god. I would like to use the force to make the, that a 24. That's a 24. You have used two light side points. Guys, means we have two extra dark side points here. Uh, um, you fake a heart attack and you fall down. And these Rodians are going to roll. Or, I'm sorry. These these aliens are going to roll um, wisdom saves. The... The two standing there in the doorway just kind of stop and look at you for a second, kind of confused. But then one that you haven't seen yet comes charging through and says, oh my gosh, we scared him to death. <laughs> He's dying and grabs your hand and says, don't go now, little one. You'll I be okay. At, I look at him and look into his eyes and I go, I'm coming, Papa. Come on. No. <laughs> Don't, don't go, don't go to the light. Guys, come over here and help me. Help me, please. We were supposed to take them alive. I say, back, back, back to, back to. Back to? You need back to? Yes, I need back to. Guys, he needs back to. Get him some back to. At which point it's now Bortle's turn. Um, he is going to, uh, uh, pull out a vibro sword and run over and just try to eviscerate one of the guys here. Um, he stabs one of them with four damage. That's great. Bruna, it is your turn. Now, behind you, you've got the two Twi'leks who came charging in. One of them seems like the leader. In front of you, you've got two other enemies. One of them just got stabbed and you are starting to hear shuffling coming from the back room where Tetsuka might be. What would you like to do? This is the most confused I've ever been in combat ever in my life. I just <laughs> want to put that out there. We're breaking right records now. everywhere. I am completely at a loss. Because we are, we are trend setting, means. goal setting, girl bosses. Go on, on. it's your turn. That's it, all right. <laughs> Girl bosses. Girl bosses. Girls getting it. it done. I love okay. It. I love it. I love um, it. I love it. So it's. You are the Captain Marvel of this movie. Make it happen. She's this the captain. She's the <laughs> Marvel, the Solo, the the, no. the Runen, no the Kanan, Kanan, Kanan. Okay, Coincidentally, um, that'd be your couple name, Kato, Runen, Kanan. All right, let's not. If, I mean, you're married, obviously. I'm just saying, if anything, God forbid. Force forbid happens to your husband. <laughs> Just saying, you anyway, would have a good celebrity couple name. So, oh my god, <laughs> that's gonna shut up. <laughs> Runa, you've got two in front of you, two behind yeah. you. Okay, um, they're obviously like hostile. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, oh, I have tech powers now. This yes, game. you do. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay, um, so for my action, I'm going to do a uh, storming shot. Okay, storming shot. And take a shot at whichever one looks the meanest. 
All right, so the one that's right in front of you is the one that we will... Okay, sure. Are you rolling or, sh or am I rolling for you? Um, so it says, as part of the action used to cast this power, you must make a ranged weapon attack against one creature within your weapon's range. Otherwise, the power fails. On a hit, the target suffers the attack's normal effects and becomes shocked until the end of my next turn. When this power hits a target, if there is a creature within 30 feet who is shocked, an arc of lightning courses between the two creatures, dealing 1d6 lightning damage to both of them. If there are multiple other creatures who are shocked, the lightning leaps to the closest creature. Okay. So wow. basically, I'm going to fry some bad guy. Who might not be bad guys? Honestly, I'm a little conflicted here, but yep, that's without it's... without inciting, they will kill you. Can it? Okay, okay. Can I they, insight they check them? You. <laughs> you can insight check them. Okay, I'm gonna insight check first. Yeah. <laughs> With a four. Here we go again. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna shoot. Uh, this this guy right here. I'm trying to target him. And you are uh, okay. Well, you did it. You got the storming shot got active, so now you could roll to shoot. All right. So then. Pew. Okay, oh, that's a okay. hit. Okay, and he's shocked. Okay. Yeah, you did seven damage, but it looks like you put it on the wrong one, so I'll just move that one over. Oh, um, I did? Uh, okay, you shoot him with the storming shot, mm -hmm. um, and he dies instantly. Oh, man, okay. Yeah, he just got stabbed, and you just go, ping, and yeah, he falls over dead. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I still have a bonus action and movement. You do? So I'm, I'm going to... Um, uh, bonus action, expeditious retreat. Okay. And I'm going to get, uh, it's, it means I can take the dash action. You can duck into the conference room there where you'll have cover. Yeah. Okay. That's what that I'm is thinking. the closest thing to get. I don't want to target myself. No, that's not, that's not correct. Okay. Okay. So I, you disengage I, and you move into yep. the conference room. Yep, and I've accidentally um, targeted myself, so I don't know how to undo Just that. Just hit escape. But... Cool. Okay. Thank you. All right. And then, so to end your turn, the Bovin goes, and he steps out and sees what's going on and ducks into Tetsuka's office. <laughs> I was <just> not having it. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, forget this. <laughs> The little the squee steps forward and looks at the other Twi'lek and shoots using a blaster pistol and kills it. So the one that oh. got hit with the slug thrower kills it. So that Twi'lek falls down dead. Now, technically, yes, the slug throw was supposed to do uh, six, uh, uh, um, burst six. However, we are using a dark side point to give this Twi'lek the ability to dodge roll out of the way and not get hit by the explosion. So you guys got one light side point back. Okay. Huzzah! Oh, that's how it works. I oh yeah. It goes, it's I just never goes ending trading. Again. It goes back. <gasps> oh yeah. So it's just okay. never ending trading. That's nice. like <laughs> um, that. The computer, the tech girl, Ru uses her action to dash away and she runs up to one of these computers and starts typing away again Ooh. doing something women damn coming right to us kato it's your turn Ugh. all right can i make a lore check on these twi'leks so they're not all twi'leks but yes the two in front of me sure that's a 16, lore check, what would you like to know? I I want to know why I recognize one of them. Oh, you recognize the leader of this group? Yes. One of the ones that you and one of your companions were sent to despawn prior to um, the, the campaign. Thing. The thing, yeah, okay. Um, 
backstory stuff. You Can definitely you... had interactions with this. Yeah. Um, and it was also the last time you saw one of, your fo- one of your follow one of your follow friends. Wait, can you sh- can you can you showcase which one it is on the map for me so I know exactly which one it is? The one that's right here, right next to you. The uh, okay, uh, yeah, s- this one. Okay. It was the. You would have recognized you went on this mission with uh, one of the two family members that you've got, and it was the last time you saw this family member, and you failed, and you had to run. Okay. Uh, Spicy. Ah! Okay. Um, God, I don't know if I want to find answers or if I just want to murder the heck out of this person. Okay, I, I want to use my action to get closer, or at least my movement to get closer. Um, and can I... I don't know if this is an action or a bonus action, but can I make an action to grapple this person to the ground and hold my vibro blade to their throat? Is that an action or a bonus action? You can give give me an athletics check to see if you could wrestle with her to do that. Okay. I'm using no, the light side point. I'm using the light side point. I want the 20. I want to find out more information. I'm using the light side point. All right. Light side point has been activated. I get my dark side point back. Uh, you roll a 20. So she has two two blades, and you're able to hold them back and spin her around, and you're holding her. And she says, she pretty much whispers to you, what, you couldn't do the job the first time? Now you're going to try to kill me again? <laughs> Oh. You got away last time. You're not getting away this time. Kato Furtar, you better kill people that you start <laughs> killing. Finish the job, young man. Who's the real dad of the group? <laughs> I don't know if it's a bonus action or if it's like just I, I, maybe it's a free action. Um, can I use my fiber cord cable and tie up her arms behind her back? You will have to, well, it's, you're kind of holding her arms in front of her. Oh, okay, yeah. Like bear hugging, holding her in place. Uh, so it'd be really hard to, to, to do that. Okay, okay, never mind. Um, oh God, I don't know what I can do right now. I guess the only uh, thing I can imagine- Say sorry. Is like <laughs> suplexing her. Is absolutely just suplexing and RKOing her behind my back and just slamming her on the ground. <laughs> All right, so give me an unarmed attack, which I believe you could j- just roll. You could roll a regular 20. Just roll a d20, okay. Ha! That didn't it, work. Okay. That's a fail. Yeah, that's a massive fail. So you flip over, and she's actually uh, really skilled in this, and she reverses on you, and now you are kind of pinned to the floor. Okay. Ooh, saucy. Kato okay. is pinned. Hey. Uh, and now it is back to the top of the encounter where the Rodian uh, and the Athorian are now kind of running around back and forth looking for Bacta with uh, Tetsuka. I, can I whisper something? Can I say something to them? Yes. Okay. Can I say that um, my my heart pills are in my room, my office. My heart pills are in my office. Do you, do you have heart pills? A bad heart. A bad heart. And they're they're in the office. They're in the second. Daddy, is that you? Oh, mama, I haven't seen you for so oh. long. Uh, g- give me a, give me a performance check with advantage. Since they clearly it's believe advantage you. Advantage on that. <laughs> they clearly believe him. Oh, oh. this is a force point, light force. On a six. <laughs> oh my god. All right, all 16. And I am going to use a dark side point to bring it back down to an 11. And so <laughs> they. Wait, wait, so we have a light side point now? Yes, back. Yes. We also and I have use it point. to. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's boy. That kills okay. Now. Okay. He stops for a second at the door and he goes, Wait a minute. Wait a second. <laughs> We're not supposed to be helping them. 
the other one goes and walks over and just kind of nonchalantly starts tying up your feet. Small and you guy. notice you notice he's tying up your feet. Um you kind of see uh from like if you like peer over, you just see kind of Quinn is moving around in the doorway trying to get out, but he is completely tied up. And we're back to Jen. Now, Jen, the Twi'lek you hit with the grenade launcher is dead. You saw Runa come in and shoot one of the other ones. They're dead. Kato tried to grapple this Twi'lek, failed, and is now being held on the floor. It's your turn. Yeah, I'm going to aim for the Twi'lek who's, got, uh, who's on top of Kato. Okay. Um, I will take my shotgun. And that is a... Oh my gosh. So you shoot with a 10. However, she is um, prone. So you do get advantage. So you can roll again. Okay. Because she's holding Kato down. Yeah, 17 is a hit. She takes... Uh, three damage. So, good job. And then, okay. um, is there yes. any place I can duck for cover get hidden? So you, you, I mean, you could duck back into the office, but that's a few spaces away from you. I mean, that's another 10 feet away. So you could exactly. do it, but it's, it's going to, you're going to be really far away from Kato. It's okay. I'll just, I'll, I'll leave it there. Okay. So up next is Dinos is holding Groro and he, and he yells at the Twi'lek and says, Hey, let him go. He's with me. And she does. And she lets Kato go. And she just kind of stands up. What? <laughs> And she looks, she looks at Dino. She says, I don't want this loser Nautilin anyway. I'm here for you. And Dino, holding the gun to Groro, says, so I guess we don't need this Rodian anymore. And she goes, I guess not. What are you going to do? He goes, this. Boom. Blasts yeah. the Rodian and tosses him onto the ground. Groro is... He Dead. pulled a Tetsuka. Yeah. Oh my god. I would be so happy if I was in the room instead of having a fake heart attack. And oh that's where god. we're going to have to end it tonight, guys. No! <laughs> that's where we have to end <laughs> no! it. It is past no! our time. Guys, everybody, friends, thank you so much for watching <laughs> Star Wars Clash of Destiny. We will be back with you again next week for another <laughs> satisfying episode of our show guys if you're seeing this on twitch thank you if you're seeing this on youtube thank you spotify hey this one's for you guys too thank you so much we'll see you again soon bye everyone goodbye goodbye depressed <laughs>